I have completed my graduation from RGM College of Nanda with an aggregate of 8.24. I did my schooling from Karpa. My students are big learners and self motivated. My short term goal is to get a good job in a reputed company where I can grow my skills and knowledge. And my long term goal is to become more knowledgeable personality and achieve a good position in the organization. That's all about things. Okay, Fias. So, how much rate yourself in your skill? Out of 5? Out of 5, I can rate myself uh, 4 to 4 points in within the range of 4 to 4 points. Okay, it's great. So, explain the DBMS process. Okay, sir. Uh, DBMS uh, stands for Database Management System, which acts like as a manager. It takes query from the user and uh, it will process that query. And uh, if the query is present uh, inside the database or not, it will check the process. It will process the information. I mean, and it is uh, present inside the database. It will return back to the user as output. Okay. So, what is normalization? Normalization is used to give up the data. So that is completely wrong. So the normalization it is nothing but the bigger table we are splitting into a number of the smaller tables. tables. For doing the normalization, we can able to understand the table very easily. Okay. And for the normalization also we are having the different types. One normal form and two normal. normal form and three normal form and until we have the six normal forms we have. But in the real time we are going to using until three to four. Okay. Okay. So what are the advantages of stored processors? So first of all, stored processor is a sub program uh, that that returns uh, that doesn't doesn't return any return value and uh, executed on demand. The main advantage of uh, stored procedure is uh, it will take the parameters such as in out as well as in out parameters. These are all uh, used to perform the actions or operations. Okay. So what is index? Yeah, indexes are uh, used to helpful for improvement of the selected statements. There are two types of indexes: uh, simple indexes and uh, complex indexes. So, what is simple index? Simple index is uh, used for uh, improvement for uh, one column. Yeah, complex index is used for uh, one or more column. Okay. So, what are the constraints? Constraints, constraints are used to give the restrictions to the table. There are uh, se several types of constraints: ordinary constraint, unique constraint, primary key constraint, foreign key constraint, uh, check constraint, default constraint. Okay. So, the explain about foreign key constraint. Okay, so foreign key constraint is used to relation to build the relation between the tables. Uh, we can have multiple uh, foreign keys in a table. Uh, foreign keys uh, created in inside the child table. It can allow so not null values as well as duplicate values. Okay, what are the DDL operations we have? Uh, DDL stands for data definition language, uh, which is used to create uh, the create or delete the table. Uh, the commands which are present in the DDL are rename, revoke, alter, create, truncate. Okay, what is the difference between delete and truncate? Uh, delete is used for a specific, specific line or column. Uh, truncate is used to delete entire tables. Okay, so that's a level. Huh? So what is the major difference between where class and having class? Where class, uh, where class is used before the aggregation process, having class is used after the aggregation process. Where class uh, is implemented in uh, row operations, having class implemented in uh, column operations. Where class is used in single row operations as well as uh, where having class uh, used in multi row operations. Okay. So what is uh, distinct keyword? Distinct keyword is used to delete the duplicate rows and uh, represents a unique value present inside the table. Okay, what is the difference between MySQL and SQL? SQL, SQL stands for structured query language and MySQL, uh, uh, it is uh, uh, particularly about the procedure language. It, uh, so, SQL it is a just a long way. Okay, to communicate with the DBMS, okay, we need to 
no way about the SQL language where as a my MySQL it is a database software if you want to store the any data if you want to retrieve any data we are using that software to connect to that software also mandatorily we need to use the SQL language only okay so so suppose why can you explain that what are the advantages of RDBMS RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System, which is serving the relation between two or more tables. And uh, the main advantage of uh, Relational uh, Database Management System is there is a connection between one to another table or one to many tables and many to many tables. We can easily retrieve the data by using those connections. And uh, it is uh, very easy to retrieve the data and find the data. It uh, consumes less time. And, uh, very secure compared to the other database management systems. Okay, so what is the purpose of the timestamp function? Timestamp, system timestamp. It is used to deliver the, to get the scheduled time of file. Okay, currently it will be showing that what is the exact date and time. Exact date and time. Okay. So, what is the purpose of the replace function? It is used to replace the strings like if you are giving a query to replace a particular particular index of a string that will replace a, uh, with a new string and that output replaces a new string. Okay, so what is the, can you explain about the single row function and multiple function? Yes, a single row functions uh, takes input uh, from each column and produces output to the each column and uh, multi, -row, multi row functions are takes input uh, from multiple users and produce a single output. Okay, okay, Fias, that's another question. Okay. Thank you. So, you need to improve more. Okay, Fias.